Laws of Reflection on the Basis of Huygens Construction Let a plane wave front AB be incident on a reflecting surface PQ at an angle. In the absence of the medium, the wave front would have advanced to A dash B dash. But as the wave front strikes B, the point becomes the center of secondary wavelets. In time t, the wave front advances a distance a a dash equals to c t, and would have advanced a distance b b dash equals to c t, with b as center and radius equals to b d equals to c t. Draw a secondary wavelet shown as a part of a circle as shown in figure. From A dash, draw a tangent plane to this wavelet. Thus, A dash D is the new reflected wave front which advances forward in the direction shown by the arrows. The angle of reflection is the angle I dash which the reflected wave front A dash D makes with the surface PQ that is angle B A dash D angle I dash deduction of the laws of reflection the angle of incidence is the angle between the incident ray and the normal but the ray is perpendicular to the wave front and the normal perpendicular to the surface Hence, the angle of incidence is the angle between the incident wave front AB and the surface PQ, that is, angle ABA dash equals to I. Similarly, the angle of reflection is the angle between the reflected wave front A dash D and the surface PQ, that is, angle I dash equals to angle DA dash. B. Now, from the geometry of delta S with BD equals to A A dash and B A dash common, we know that these are congruent delta S. Hence, angle I equals to angle I dash, or the angle of incidence equals to angle of reflection. Also, the incident ray. The reflected ray and the normal are all in the same place. Hence the wave theory has proved the loss of reflections at a plane surface.